So today I'm gonna to go ahead and test these rigid batteries. We're gonna do a runtime test of five, 15, and 30 amps. And then we're gonna look at the voltage drop under a 30 amp load and see how they compare. After that, I'll tear them down. We'll see what cells are running and see if it's the same as what Ryobi is running. So for 30 amps, we gotta use two load cells. I do have a meter here to show us the amp draw. Runtime here, pretty much as expected, with the 1.5 at the low end and the 6 amp hour at the high end. Voltage drop under 30 amp load, a little bit interesting. Definitely you can tell the difference between a standard battery and a max output battery. One thing to note though, the 1.5 looks to be a little bit stronger than the standard two amp hour. So after that 30 amp load run there, I captured these images with the thermal camera. So I tore them all apart here and yeah, it's not too shocking considering that these are manufactured by TTI. Now the 1.5 standard amp hour battery is running EVE 15Ps. Standard two amp hour, a little bit different. We've seen with the Ryobi, we were running the EVE 20Ps. Here they are running the Liston. This is different in comparison as well. Here with the two amp hour max battery, running the High Star. So the difference between the max and the standard is these additional pins here on the circuit board. And there's a little bit more additional components, but overall it's telling the tool, hey, you know, you can go ahead and draw more amperage. Standard four amp hour. Now this is running the EVE 20Ps. Whereas with the Ryobi, it was running the Listens. Four amp hour max, running the Listens. And the six amp power, same as the Ryobi here, running the Sony VTC sixes. After tearing them all down, yeah, they're running similar cells to Ryobi, a little bit different on where they're used compared to high output or max in comparison to standard. 
But for the most part, yeah, they're 18650s, nothing really out of the ordinary. You can tell the difference between the 1.5 and that standard two amp hour under load there. Overall, they are 10, 20 dollars more than Ryobi, but you're getting that lifetime warranty agreement. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on another one.